let us take an example of a problem and we will define the state space for that particular example and the first example which we are taking that is related to the eight puzzle problem or you can say there is eight puzzles and we, there is a variation of this problem that is also called as the 16 puzzle problems or 15 puzzle problems okay so what is the problem let me define the problem first is that we have a table like this which are having total eight locations okay and this problem is a eight puzzle problem eight puzzle problem now we have a total of uh, nine location in case of eight puzzle problem and these nine locations we are having some tiles on this like we have the tiles which is one two three and um, assuming that we are storing four five six seven and eight here assuming that these are the tiles which we have now here in this particular case our aim is to reach to a state where this entire uh, puzzle or you can say this entire nine blocks should look like this this is one two three four five six seven and eight now this tile should these tiles should look like this that means they should be in the sorted order or you can say they should be in the sorted manner now there are different variations of this problem it can happen that someone is going to ask you that uh, this these tiles should look something like this there is one two three four five six seven and eight now these are different variations of the problem the main aim the main purpose of this problem is that given some set of the diagram now we want to reach to a state where the desired configuration is present either the desired configuration can be this or this but not both like for example we can define that uh, the problem is like this we have this this state and we want to reach to this state or the problem is we have this state or we want to reach to the this state now this is the eight puzzle problem now in this eight puzzle problem you can clearly see that uh, this is a initial state and this is called as initial state initial state and let us assume let us not consider that one let us consider this one that assuming that this is a final state there's an initial state and there is a final state now to move from this location to this location we can perform some actions those actions can be either we can take this tile and move it here then we can take this tile move it here we can take this tile move it here and then we can take this tile to move it here okay so how can you reach to that so you can reach to the solution like this this is first state that we have one two three four and five you move eight from here to here that means eight will come here seven will come here and six will come here again you can take the next step like this from this tile you can make it look like this one two three four five and you can move six from here to here six will come here seven is here and eight is here now from here to here you can move something like this this is one two oh this should be like this this is one two three four five six and then you can move seven here eight is there and in the next step you can move eight to the desired location so you can move it like this one two three four five six seven and from here to here you can move eight here now you can see you reached to a final state from the initial state you reached to a final state to reach to this particular final state you have taken st some steps and those steps or those actions which you can perform they are called as operators so the first action was you have taken this tile up the second action was you have taken this tile in the right the third action was you have taken this tile down 
and you have the fourth action is you have taken this tile to the left okay so you can say these are these actions are giving the operators so what are the operators here in this case the operators are up down left and right up down left and right okay so this is the initial state these are intermediate states and this is the final state okay now you understand that to reach to this particular final state you have taken some sequence of steps and in this sequence of steps these things these are called as successors these are called as successors okay and as i told you there are three uh, two terminologies which we used number one there is something called as a plan now after the plan i have given you a terminology and that term terminology was called as solution plan we discussed about the solution plan and the third terminology in case of plan solution plan is a cost of plan cost of plan we have plan we have solution plan and we have cost of plan plan means the sequence of actions which you are taking for example from here you could have taken multiple sequence of steps you could have taken from this this case you could have chosen to move seven into this direction so it it will look something like this one two three and we have four and seven and five and eight and six you could have you could have taken this step or from here you could have taken the step to make six go to this location so this will look something like this it is 1 2 3 4 7 5 8 and 6 further you could have taken an action like this you could have moved 8 to this direction and so on there will be multiple paths which are available right as you can see clearly here that this is the initial state assuming this is the initial state a now from this state a we can go to a state b or we can also go to this state c and from the state c i can also go to this state d or from the state b i can go to this state uh, e from state e i can go to state f from f i can go to state g and there may be more than one path which may be available for this a right so you can represent all the sequence of steps with a graph that means this is one state 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 so this entire problem can be represented in a graph and assuming that the graph will look something like this and each state may lead you to different states from here you may it may be possible that you may be able to go to this state from here it may be possible you may be able to go to this state from here it may be possible you may be able to go to this state so there may be so many such type of different states which may be present now out of all these different states there may be a state which is a final state like for example this is this state is representing a final state right so you understand that there is an initial state now every solution or every step in this problem can be represented by a path and there is a final state right and this entire graph or all the information about this graph can be represented by the state space the state space now again remember the same definition of the state space in case of state space we will be having the following four tuples that is capital S small s uh, after this we will be having operators and then we will be having a goal state now in this particular graph when I am saying capital S capital S means what are the set of states so how many states can this is state A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, up, so on there are so many different states this capital S is showing the set of states this small s is showing the initial state initial state is here is A and this O, O is showing the operators so what are the operators present? up, down, left, right and according to these operators we are moving from one state to the next state and then we have a goal state for example here this is representing a goal state so in this graph also there is something which will be representing a goal state right again so the definition is what is a plan plan means 
the sequence of steps you are taking that is a plan. For, for example, from here to here or from here to here, if you want to reach to this state, then what is the sequence of steps you have taken or sequence of operations you have applied to reach to this state. That is a plan. Any sequence of uh, steps or operations is a plan. What is the solution plan? Solution plan means what are the sequence of steps you have taken to reach to a final state or if this is the final state then this is called as a solution plan then what is the cost of a plan now for every operation which you are going to take for example if you want to move from this state to state this state for every operation which you are going to perform there will be some cost associated with that particular operation right so this is the cost of a plan is can you can define a cost of a plan is the sum of the actions and the cost uh, some of all the action cost in the plan is called as a cost of a plan and to find the best plan if we try to minimize the cost of the plan so again again from this cost to the plan the main aim is you want to find the best plan which is possible to reach to the final state best plan and just just a very simple example of this one for example you have a traveling salesman problem now to optimize to solve the traveling salesman problem there may be multiple paths which may be solving that particular problem it can happen but out of those paths our aim is to find a path which is minimizing the overall cost so again we want to solve that kind of problem using ai that is artificial intelligence and to performing the action we are going to find the cost of the plan and then we will try to find what is best plan we can have to solve that particular problem okay now let me tell you one more example of this state space uh, that is the cannibal cannibals and the missionary example